So the first deployment will be the hello world deployment. So let's create a new file and let's call it hello world deployment.yaml. And this is just a deployment as we've seen before using the hello world image and the container is exposing port 3000. So let's deploy this one, kubectl apply hello world minus deployment. The next deployment will be the dog picture deployment. So let's call this dog, dog pic deployment dog yaml. And this looks very similar to the previous one. The difference is uh, in the image name that's being used. So let's create this one as well. Apply dash F and dog pic dash deployment. Okay. So if you look at the pods, Two pods should be up and running shortly, but we also need to deploy the services for uh, both of these, uh, both of these deployments. So let's create, just create a YAML called services, and the first service is going to be for the doc docpic uh, web deployment port three thousand, and the second one will be for the hello world deployment. Now, notice that you can separate your YAML uh, with uh, three dashes. So you don't have to have separate files. You can pull multiple resources in the same file. Just make sure you separate them with three uh, dashes. So let's look at the pods. Okay, the pods are up and running and we can just apply these services as well. And let's look at the services to make sure that they're deployed. Kubectl get SVC. All right, so before we create the ingress resource, what we need to do is we need to deploy an ingress controller. And the job of this controller is to receive any incoming traffic and then route it based on the rules that we're going to define in the ingress resource. There are multiple options you can go with uh, for your ingress controller. Uh, some of the popular ones are traffic, nginx, ambassador, AJ proxy, and so on. So what I'm going to do is I'll use the ambassador gateway and I'll deploy this by starting with custom resource definitions that the gateway uses. So I'll just clear here and I'll, I'll, I'll get the YAML directly from their website. So we'll deploy directly from their website. There you go. And the next step will be to uh, deploy or create the ambassador deployment and then any other resources that are needed for, uh, for the ingress, uh, sorry, for the controller to uh, run for the ingress controller. So this is the second deployment. It's RBAC. It contains the RBAC rules as well as the uh, uh, cluster roles, the service account, and then finally the ambassador deployment. So let's see what was created. Let's look at deployments. So you'll see there's the ambassador deployment and we have the doc pick and we have the hello world deployments as well. If we look at the pods, the pods are still being created. Uh, uh, so the default installation will create the three ambassador pods. And it's also going to create, if you look at the services, kubectl get SVC, it will also create the ambassador admin service. Now we separately need to create a load balancer service uh, that will route the traffic to uh, to the ambassador pods. And this is how we do this. So let's create a new file called ambassador-lb and paste this in. So the type is the load balancer. Uh, we're, uh, we're looking for all the pods that have the service label set to ambassador and port and target port. So let's deploy this one. kubectl apply-f ambassador minus lb. So this was created and then look at the services now. And you'll see that we have the ambassador service, the load balancer, and it has a pending, uh, pending external IP, just like before. Now, instead of using the tunnel command, uh, we could use the minikube service command. And what this will do is it'll just open the service that you pass in. So ambassador in our case, and it's going to open it on the node port, which is 32705. So let's do that. So this one opened the browser. And as expected, there's nothing on 
on that address right now uh, because we haven't created any ingress rules. So it's just not, there's nothing. Uh, however, what we could try and access is the diagnostics page. So if you go to slash ambassador slash v0 slash diag for diagnostics. So this is what you can get from the ambassador's uh, pods, the diagnostics page. Now that we have the ingress controller up and running, we can create an ingress resource. The simplest version of an ingress resource is one without any rules. So ingress is going to direct all traffic to the same backend service, regardless of the traffic origin. So let's create an ingress that only defines a backend service and does not have any rules. So let's create a file called my ingress or single, let's say single, single service, service dash ing yaml and I'll based in the ingress. And in this one, we're defining a default backend. So we're not really defining any rules. We're just saying, we don't care where the traffic comes from. The default backend is the service called Hello World that's running on port 3000. So let's create this ingress. So apply dash F uh, single service ing. And we'll create this ingress resource. And then we can use kubectl get ing, and it's going to show us the ingress resource. Uh, the host is set to start because we're allowing, uh, like we don't care which host the traffic is coming in. It's for any host. And it's on uh, port 80. We can now use minikube service command just to open the, the ambassador service on the node port. And this will open our hello world service which is the default backend it's going to open it through the ambassador using the ingress resource and the ingress controller since we want to expose two services through the ingress we need to write some rules using the path configuration uh, we can route traffic from one host name to multiple services based on the uri path in this example we want to route traffic from the ambassador's load balancer IP slash hello to hello world and the traffic from load balancer IP slash dog to the dog picture service. To do that, we'll have to define two rules in the ingress resource. So let's create the path based ingress. So we'll create a new file called pad ing and we will be updating the same ingress resource. It'll be my ingress, but this time we're specifying some rules. So we're saying that under the path hello, and we're saying that this is the type of path, the path type of prefix, meaning that the prefix has to be matched. Uh, so if any of the requests come in to slash URL path, we're going to redirect that traffic to this backend service, which is hello world on port 3000. Similarly, if the pad uh, prefix is slash dog, we will redirect the traffic to the dog pick service. So let's deploy this one, apply minus F and we'll call it pad ing.yaml. Now you'll notice it says configured because we're actually updated the existing resource already. So let's look at the, ingress actually let's look at the ingress details instead so under the rules you'll notice that our path is set to slash hello and the backend is hello world and then the second uh, second rule is the path with slash dog and it's gonna go to the dog pick service so let's open the ambassador service and just like before we will use the mini cubes ip combined with the uh, node port so let's go here and then we'll say 32705 now notice that we don't get anything back and the reason for that is that we haven't actually defined any path or any service or even a default backend that would render or show when there's no prefix when the prefix doesn't match so if we do slash hello we're gonna get back the hello world, just like expected or just like before. And then if we do slash dog, we're gonna get the daily dog picture thing and we can click and we will get multiple different images.
The way that this last ingress is defined, it's not specifying any host names. So let's see how we could create or specify a host name in ingress, meaning if I type example.com slash dog, I want to get redirected to the dog website. Or if I do example.com slash hello, I want to be redirected to the hello world website. So let's do this by creating a new file. We're going to call it hostname ing yaml. And I'll paste this ingress here. And the only difference really is here in this host field. So in this host field, we're setting example.com. But this is just for testing. However, if you had your real domain or your own domain, this is where you would put your domain name in. And then what you would do is you would use, so let's do this. So we'd use the actual external IP address. Uh, you would go to your domain registrar and you would enter the A name record uh, and use these, this external IP address in that A name record. That way, when someone types in example.com, it would get redirected to this IP address or resolved rather to this external IP address. And then the routing would happen as per the ingress rules. So let's deploy this hostname ingress. So I'll do kubectl apply minus hostname ing. So same ingress, we're updating it. So it was configured. Um, and then let's just describe it and see how it looks like. So we'll say describe ingress, uh, my ingress. Uh, notice how the host column actually contains the host that we provided, the example.com. So let's try to navigate to uh, to this. So if I'm going to go to, there you go, I'm going to refresh now. So it was still being cached. So if I go to the same, um, if I go to Minikube IP and the note port slash dog, it's not resolving. Same for hello, it's not resolving. And the reason for that is because I'm actually using the IP address to get to the website. That's my host. It's not example.com. So what I have here is I have this extension that allows you to modify the request headers. So I'm going to enable this and this is going to make it look like my request is coming from example.com. So if I refresh it this time, this time it works fine. Same if I go to the slash dog, it's going to load the dog's website. Now let's take this a little bit further. So instead of using that IP address, the node IP, it would be really nice if I could actually use example.com slash hello and get redirected to this uh, website and then slash dog to get redirected to uh, the other one. So what we're going to do is uh, let's start the tunnel. So we're going to start the tunnel to get the actual um, IP address, external IP address. Otherwise, we cannot use the, we have to use the port 80 uh, and when using the domain names, right? So let's do this. So now we actually got an IP address. So what we're going to do is I'll take this IP address and I will edit the hosts file. And in this hosts file, I'll basically say, oh, I actually have to do them. Uh, I'll say whenever someone uh, like map this to example.com, for example. So let's do this. I'm going to save it. Now, what this means is if I did everything correctly, I could do example.com slash dog and I get redirected to the dog website. Similarly, if I do example.com slash hello, I'm going to get redirected to uh, the hello world website. Now, this is a nice way uh, to set up your domains or something if you're working locally, right? You probably wouldn't use example.com. You would use something that's more uh, unique. In most cases, the ingress controllers will set the default backend. Uh, remember, the default backend is the service that will get rendered if uh, none of the rules are matching. So that's the catch-all uh, or a fallback service, if you, if you wish. Uh, some ingress controllers will also automatically install a default backend service. Uh, I know Nginx does that. Now, if you want to configure the default backend, you can then either use an annotation or one of the custom resources uh, that your installed Kubernetes or sorry, installed ingress controller actually supports. 
Uh, I don't really want to dig into Ingress controller specifics because they're all different. So for that reason, let's just set the default backend directly on the Ingress resource. So what I'm going to do is I will uh, create a new file. So let's just call it default backend ing.yaml. And this is the same same ingress based on the previous one where we defined the host, but we additionally added these uh, five lines. And you've already seen this earlier when we were setting just the default backend. And in our case, we're just setting the default backend to be hello world. Now, what you could have here is you could have your main page or uh, some completely different service that, uh, that would render. Uh, just to make it simple, we're going to just use the hello world. So let's do uh, deploy. Let's deploy this one. Apply default backend ing. And then let's just describe it as well. Uh, my ingress. Um, and you'll see here uh, at the under the default backend, it's actually specifying hello world and port 3000. Uh, so if we try this, so example.dog works, example.hello works, but this time even example, just example should work and it goes to hello world. Now, sometimes you don't want to use the fan out option with paths. Instead, what you want to do is you want to route the traffic based on the subdomains. Let's say uh, going to example.com will render one service and then going to dogs.example.com will render another one, for example. So let's create a name name dash ing.yaml file and implement or create those rules. Um, so let me remove the default backend here because we're not going to need it. Uh, but what we have here is we have under rules, we actually have two hosts now. The first host is example.com and on the slash hello path, when the traffic comes in, we're going to just go to the hello world just like before. Now the second host entry is dog.example.com and the path here is just root, just slash, meaning dog.example.com and that's it. So whoever goes on that uh, and there's that address, uh, we want them to go to the doc pick service uh, website. So let's apply this one or create it. So kubectl apply dash f name ing. And then if we describe this ingress, my ingress, You'll see that the host is example.com for the first entry. So that's the first rule. And then the second one is dog.example.com and just on the root. So what we also have to do here, since this is a second host name, we need to repeat that same entry in the hosts file uh, using the same IP address. But instead of going to example.com, we want to go to dog.example.com. So it matches that uh, host name. So with that updated, let's open the website and let's take a look. So example.com slash hello. This is the first rule. It goes to hello. Example.com, we don't have anything. So it's not going to, we removed the default backend. So it's not going to render anything. But now if we go to dog.example.com, we get to the daily dog picture website. 